I have made some projects earlier that have included a GPS module with some GPS tracking features. The GPS module gives the time in UTC format only. But if you want to add local time to your projects, then you have to add the time zone feature in the code yourself. So if you don't know how to add the time zone in your projects, then this video is for you. This is the sketch file of my GPS speedometer project. The time displayed here is the UTC time. And I am going to convert this time into your country's standard time. So, we will create two variables in the code. One for storing the time zone hours. And the other one for minute offset. If your time zone is minus 4 hours and 30 minutes. Then we will store the minus 4 in the hours variable and minus 30 in the minutes variable. Similarly, if your country time zone is plus 5 hours and 30 minutes. Then we will store 5 in hours variable and 30 in the minutes variable. If there is no minute offset in your time zone, then you must enter 0 in the minute field. Next, scroll down in the sketch and find out the GPS time code block. Here you can see, I have stored the UTC time that is coming from the GPS module. Before writing any code, you will need to understand the basics of time zone. There are two types of time zones. First one is full hours time zone. These time zones consist of whole number of hours without any minute part. Such as GMT minus 9, GMT plus 1, GMT plus 5. As you can see, there is no any minute part here. That's why these time zones are called full hours time zones. A country in the GMT plus 5 time zone is 5 hours ahead of the UTC time. Let's understand it with an example. Here is the UTC time. And if we add 5 hours in the UTC time, then you will get the local time for the country. But this is not a valid time. Because the hours are invalid. There is only 24 hours in one day. So if the hours are 24 or more, then we will subtract 24 from the hours. Now the time we have calculated is 3 hours and 45 minutes. And this is the correct local time. Let's implement it in the code. Here, first I will add the time zone hours in the time that is coming from the GPS module. Next, I will check if the hours are greater than or equals to 24. Then just subtract the 24 from the hours. And the time will be fixed. But it will never work with the negative time zone, like GMT-8 or GMT-5. So, we will have to write some more code. But first we will understand it by an example. Here is the UTC time. And we will add minus 8 hours in the UTC time. 6 minus 8 is minus 2. Here you can see, the hours are invalid again. The hours must be greater than 0. So if the hours are less than 0, then we will add 24 in the hours. Minus 2 plus 24 is 22. Now you can see the time becomes valid. So this way you can fix the negative time. Let's implement it in the code. Here I will check if the hours are less than 0 and if this condition is true. Then just add 24 in the hours. And the time become fixed. This way you can add the full hours time zone in your projects. The second type of the time zone is minutes offset time zones. This type of time zone consists of hours as well as the minutes part. Such as GMT minus 445 or GMT plus 530. To implement this type of time zone, we will use the same logic that we have used for the full hour time zone. Let's say, if we have UTC time, 20 hours and 35 minutes. And we wish to add time zone, 5 hours and 30 minutes in it. So let's begin by adding the minutes column. 35 plus 30 is 65 minutes. Next, add these numbers. 20 plus 5 is 25. Now we have the time, that is 25 hours and 65 minutes. But this is not a valid time. The minutes must be less than 60, because there are 60 minutes in an hour. 
So, if the minutes are 60 or more, then we will subtract 60 from the minutes and add the 1 to the hours. Now, we have 26 hours and 5 minutes. Here you can see, now the minutes have been fixed. Here the hours are also invalid, but we have already fixed them in the code. So, we will only write the code to fix the minutes offset. Here, first I will add the time zone minutes in the time that is coming from the GPS module. Next, I will check if the minutes are greater than or equals to 60. And if the condition is true, then just subtract the 60 from the minutes. And then add 1 in the hours. And the time will be fixed. To fix the minutes for the negative time zone, you just duplicate this block of code by using copy and paste commands. Then just invert the condition by checking if the minutes are less than 0. And if the condition is true, then add 60 in the minutes. And below, subtract 1 from the hours. That's it. This way you can add time zone in your projects. Before uploading it to Arduino, make sure, you must have entered your time zone hours and minutes in the sketch. Let's test it by uploading it to Arduino. Here is the syntax error in the code. Conversion from string to integer. So I will just remove the error. Next. I will print the UTC time in the serial monitor for testing purpose. This statement will print the UTC time before conversion. And I will also add another print statement at the end of the code to display the converted time. I will just name it time. Let's upload it again to Arduino. Now, open serial monitor. Here you can see, the time is displayed in the UTC as well as the standard time. The format of the time is 24 hours. If you want to change it in 12 hours format, then you will have to add two more lines in the code. Here I will use if condition. If the hours are greater than 12, then just subtract 12 from the hours and the time will be converted into 12 hours format. Let's test it for one more time. Here you can see, now the time is displayed in the 12 hour format. The same way you can add the time zone feature in your projects. That's all. This is for today. If you have any question, then comment below. See you in another video. Bye.